Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, good evening, or afternoon, or morning. I don't know when you watch these videos. I can't see that, because I don't stalk you, because I'm not weird. I'm weird, but not that weird. Also, I can do this now. What colour do you want? What colour? Just, just pick a colour. Any colour. I'm going to go with pink today. You've probably seen by the title, I'm talking about the globes today. And those globes being golden. They're the golden. I'm talking about the golden globes today. And my opinion on the nominations, they've just come out. Oh my god, the snow, it is really windy. I'd hate to be a bird right now, god. Normally I'd love to be a bird, but right now, not a great time to be a bird. The nominations just come out the other day, and um, you know, if you're not really interested in TV and film, or film, or anything like that, or showbiz, or Hollywood, you probably don't care. And to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Here's the thing, by default, stuff like this and awards affects the industry. Of course they do. They shape the industry. But realising in the past years or so, just because something wins an award doesn't mean it's a good film. What makes a good film is hard work gone into the film. I'm not saying that good films don't win awards. Of course good films win awards. That's kind of a given. But just because a film doesn't win an award doesn't mean it's not good, if that makes sense. it's I see it like sport. But I like football. I would watch football. I think it's fun. But if my team doesn't win, I'm not going to do something stupid like derail a train and rob seven banks and move to Mexico and change my name. Well, obviously, if I was the one receiving the award, it'd be a massive deal. It's not a massive expose of the... I think that's the wrong word. Expose? Expo, I'm not trying to expose the Globes. I'm merely just talking about my opinion on the globes 2021 it'll be great if i'm connected to the wi-fi here's the thing 2020 happened it happened and it wasn't the best year in any it really wasn't the best year and especially it wasn't the best year for film and television but there was still stuff coming out that was good if you're watching this video you probably know about the controversies behind some of these uh, some of these choices um and it is annoying the whole world revolves around money at the end of the day if they see that a film's getting nominations it's getting recognition for doing that they're going to fund more of those films and more of that television because it's getting that recognition because people say, oh, let, let's watch that tonight. It got it got a Golden Globe nom. It must be good. Yeah, I'm just going to go through them and I'm going to say my thoughts. See, this is very different to my usual content. If you have been around here for a while, you know that my content is just me doing stupid stuff, being boring, recording it, and then putting it on the internet. And some people like that. And some people don't. <laughs> some people don't. So first of all, we have best motion picture drama. I'm going to be completely honest. I've only ever seen Mank out of these. And I liked Mank. I thought it was it was pretty good. Nomadland is apparently amazing. Where, where is the Five Bloods? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is. There's, there's some good picks. This is, you know, I'm absolutely fine with that. Best motion picture, musical comedy. Um, here we go. Borat, Hamilton, uh, music, Palm Springs, and The Prom. Um, yeah, as I said. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hamilton. I know Hamilton's good. I know Hamilton has a lot of fans, and Hamilton, it's good. You know, it's a theatre show. They recorded it, they put on Disney+, and now it's getting Golden Globe noms. I, personally honest, I don't know how I feel about it from a theatre point of view, if that makes sense. Um, obviously, it's great it's getting recognition, but also, like, it's not a film. It's a theatre show. It's gotten its awards, you know, from being a theatre show. You know, one of the points I really love about theatre, and I love theatre, is that you get to go see it in person. And obviously, putting it on Disney Plus makes it more accessible. But I just hope this isn't, like, a gateway for them to do it with all the musicals. Because then I feel like it would stop people wanting to go to the theatres. It's a big thing, you know, you go to West End, you go to Broadway. This is not me saying I'm scared of what the future has to hold. The future can do whatever it wants, you know. I don't know. It's, it, it kind of has a sour feeling with me. It's very interesting. I guess it kind of classes as a film. You know, they produced it and put it on stage. You know, that's how film started, with film and theatre. Um, I'd love to know your opinions on this matter. I, d I don't know where I sit, because... I don't know. See, I'm a bit indecisive of this one. Also, the prom's on there, so that's fun. <laughs> I haven't seen the prom for a reason. I haven't seen the prom. But let's just say I know a few people who are offended by the prom, and I've read a lot of reviews that are offended by the prom, so I'm surprised the prom is getting the recognition um, that it's getting. So I'm surprised. I'm surprised. It's quite risky, but... Interesting move. Musical performance by an actor in motion picture. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. James Corden, the prom. I think it's a, str it's a strong move. It's a strong move. Uh, I'm on the internet a lot, and I see a lot of stuff about this, so I know why loads of people are really upset about this. I know, I know that people are really annoyed about this, but I feel like kind of scraping the barrel here. There, there is... There's been, there's been films, there's been comedies that have come out. It'd be cool to see Sacha Baron Cohen get a globe for, you know, his role in Borat. Andy Samberg even, that'd be really cool. Best motion picture, foreign language. Now this is, this is where I'm, I wouldn't say I'm annoyed, I'm just 
confused. Now, another round I need to see. I I need to. The one that I'm confused about is Minari. It, it's a film set in the USA, and it's about the American dream, and yet it's not being considered for best drama. And yeah, you know, it, it is, uh, most of it's in foreign language. Also, I mean, they gave Best Picture to The Artist, and that was a French film that was silent. Best performance by an actor in supporting role. Again, where's Chadwick Boseman for The Five Bloods? <laughs> Judas and Black Messiah as well, not really getting many noms. Uh, best director, Fincher. Regina King, I can definitely see it happening. And then best score, this is where, like, yeah, Tenet gets, like, its only nomination. <laughs> right, and here's the part where I get annoyed. Okay, best television series drama. Um... Where's I May Destroy You? Where is it? <laughs> I've been watching it, and I know I'm not the only one who's annoyed by it, but it should be there. It should be there. Look, and then also, best performance by an actress in the series. Where's Michelle Cole? Where is she? <laughs> she needs to be there. Also, best writing as well. It needs to be there. It's such a brilliant show, and how it's been, like, completely forgotten is beyond me. Like, absolutely beyond me. Obvious ones that I'm very surprised, and, you know, I like it when that you wouldn't expect gets a nom, gets a nom, because it brings it attention but they've kind of done that but the other way around feels strange look when it gets down to it i think it doesn't matter the show's good if a show's good it, yeah, awards don't make it any better but yeah let me know your thoughts on them i'd love to hear them i think the world's pretty upside down at the moment but yeah uh, when the oscars come out i'll probably do my yearly video of my predictions thank you for watching the video as always if you liked and you want to stick around for more feel free to subscribe thanks for joining me as always max roach signing out where's the lens cap i put my hand over the then bye. Have a good evening. You can you can leave now. This is where the video is finished. Goodbye. Why are you still here? Leave me alone.